Well, so uh, <clears throat> thank you all again for sticking with us for this uh, interesting breakout session. Ours was very lively. I believe the other session was like that too. And uh, moving on to our uh, plenary, which is starting with me, I'll give a small recap of our session 2A, which uh, looked on the social aspects, followed by Daniel, and then we'll have Kanya take over from there. So really quickly, we had three speakers, uh, UT, Dianto, and Moira. Mm -hmm. And we have very interesting and very, I would say, a broadening um, discussions and talks. Uh, UT talked about so social cohesiveness, uh, why it's important in the context of peatland restoration, particularly uh, so because restoration activities face many challenges. And there is this uh, space which is contested, uh, who owns the resources or like the ownership issue, the institutional issue, and over time, how those changes. So we discussed about those, the cohesiveness is an important parameter in that because these uh, at a landscape level, these keeps on evolving. Then Dianto uh, presented us with the more questions than answers and basically highlighting again, the complexity. And we were discussing a little bit about the complex nature of relationship in terms of uh, land and resource tenures and the conflict that arises and uh, presenting a case study from West Kalimantan, uh, how, and, and the role of uh, uh, social forestry, how the area is uh, targeted for social forestry, but it uh, is uh, a peatland and a peat dome and uh, how those actions uh, created more, I would say, confusion because there is no clarity who owns the rights to that land and who decides what is uh, undertaken there. And then uh, lastly, Moira, she uh, presented the analysis, a case study from Vietnam, where she looked into the network analysis of all different uh, members uh, within a small village community. Uh, and her presentation focused on the importance of participation for success of restoration program. And what are the topics that uh, come under, uh, like the equity, the social equity, how it's all uh, equitable for everyone. And then exploring these networks, exploring these uh, information exchange at a very local level can provide us with some insights uh, and how to make these uh, uh, restoration, people and restoration successful at a local level. And these are a few of the topics, uh, the social uh, aspects that are importantly in included when we talk about uh, criteria and indicators. So all three presenters provided a very, uh, a quick snapshot, but highlighted the complexity and very important topics related to people and restoration. Thank you all. Over to you, Padinho. Thank you, thank you, Rupesh. And from our group, uh, we were talking about the economic aspect of uh, products coming out from Pitland. Uh, Ibu City uh, working with uh, Lambung Mangkurat University, but closely in tech, uh, work with the local community in trying to improve the um, processing of product coming out from uh, degraded Pitland. So there are dozens of species that can be utilized and they all have a high market values. Uh, the, the challenge that they have really is how to improve the quality and also to access the market. But this uh, product certainly can uh, uh, come together with the restoration activities because they are non-timber products and certainly will be sustainable if the quality of the forest is also improved. So there are a lot of opportunity for uh, South Kalimantan to link with activities in other places, especially to improve the uh, price of these uh, products. The university also play important role in being the incubator of this product as well. So we should, I should mention that. From uh, Sungai Tohor village in Riau, we learn from Pak Manan, who is a local leaders and also activists in the local NGO dealing with the improvement of product of, of, of Sagu. Um, he has been working with community to uh, produce uh, Sagu with better and better quality. 
but uh, a lot of uh, assistance are needed to improve, number one, uh, the quality of the product so that they can improve the grade uh, with a price of around 1700 rupiah to about 7000 rupiah per kilogram if it is processed well. And that kind of technology, um, maybe not too difficult technology is needed so that the local community can have a better living. And also a policy from the government to use the local product for any kind of social aids that are now being used uh, during the, the COVID pandemic. Um, there's a lot of uh, budget to do that. The Banso scheme is very important to purchase uh, local product and use locally. Padarsono with his uh, large scale uh, conservation uh, project in Pitland also made a very impact in the uh, surrounding areas, the buffer area, even if it is um, uh, mineral soil, uh, working with farmers and growing uh, coconut for, to produce copra as well as sugar. And the market is very high, very good. Um, it was subsidized at the beginning and now they can be on their own or even um, perhaps busier to, to uh, serve the, the market needs, the demand. So that's the stories from three different places from the economic perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel. So next we have uh, Hania. She will be presenting with the, uh, she has one um, evaluation and survey for, uh, it's an interactive exercise for all audience. So let me give floor to her so you can explain what her exercise is and uh, let's all participate. Kanya, over to you. Uh, thank you, Rupesh. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you to our uh, speakers for the insightful sessions and discussions. And thanks to all our uh, participants who already actively uh, participated during the sessions on the chat box. Uh, like Rupesh said, I will uh, have a little exercise for all of us to be involved in. Uh, after you heard the presentations and involving discussions from this event, I would like to ask you some questions. So there will be questions appeared on your screen. It's appalling questions. We, uh, we have three uh, questions covered governance aspects, uh, social and economic aspects. Each question will have five uh, choices. Uh, you need to choose three out of uh, five choices. Okay, without further ado. Yeah, muted. <laughs> you clicked the wrong button. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm nervous, sorry about that. So, okay, I'll re-explain again. So we will have three questions. Uh, each question will have five choices. So please uh, choose three as your best answer out of five choices. Uh, so without further ado, let us start the exercise. Hello, Mbadini, can you help me to show the questions? Yeah. Uh, so this is the first question. Please choose. Three most important criteria for governance aspects. These are five choices, so you need to choose only three. And then, yeah, please answer quickly. 30 seconds. <laughs> and submit. And submit, yeah, don't forget to submit. Yeah, already. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Ambadini, um, can you show me the results, please? Wow. Okay. So this is uh, the answer. Most of 
us chose transparency is, is the most important criteria and indicators, follow up with the strong governance, uh, and then uh, access to resources. Hmm, that's quite interesting questions. And then, okay, uh, move to the next question. We have to close this. So like the previous one, please choose uh, three out of five question, uh, answers about the criteria for social aspects. Is it access to information, social networking, tenure rights, resolution of conflicts, or local institutions? You can only pick one. You can only one. Why? One. Why, Rini? You cannot choose two, three. Okay. Well, let's choose the topmost that yeah, we so think. That's the, just the top, the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yes, please show the results. Hmm. Okay, so most of us say that the most important criteria is tenure rights. Probably it's based on Padianto presentation about the tenurial conflicts. Uh, and then the last, oh, we move to the last questions, please. So it will be, uh, economic uh, aspects, just like the previous one, please choose your best answer and then submit it. Okay. Uh, Please uh, show the answer. Yeah. Yeah, so most of us chose uh, access to markets and then follow up by improved value of products and then sustain production. Okay, please uh, close. So Thank you. I, I just want to add like a little sentence here. Uh, those criteria, I think that's important for us to explore more. But let me uh, synthesize what Pak Haris uh, said in the previous session that whatever criteria that we chose, we need to think it will be a localized criteria so that it can be implied uh, and more understandable by our audience especially for communities so don't do complicated it's also said by Ravi from previous uh, sessions of this webinar thank you very much Pak Daniel back to you thank you thank you Kanya very nice uh, exercise uh, we learned across these criteria uh, today and we are arriving in the last session that is equally important because this will uh, help us to um, travel to the next session or the next uh, series of webinar. So I would like to invite Pak Haris Gunawan, who is currently in the field. He's somewhere in South Kalimantan. You can see he's still sitting in his car with his face mask. Um, take care of yourself, Pak Haris. So uh, please uh, address the participant and, and Give us your, your kind words and wise words uh, how to move forward after this session. Paris, you can also uh, directly close this session after you, you have your message. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, uh, from the Professor Daniel. Uh, thank you, uh, Rupes and Kanya. I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon or good morning from everywhere. <laughs> 
where you are right now. Uh, uh, I, I, I am very happy uh, to, uh, of course, to have uh, this event. And uh, I share some uh, short uh, items. Uh, I want to show something, uh, Professor Daniel. Can I share? What do you want to show from your computer? Yes, yes. Wow. Great. Go ahead, Pat. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I think so, the, the last uh, our question that uh, Kania already gave us uh, to uh, I think to make more easier uh, how to uh, make a priority the criteria and indicator. For the, I think for the three uh, aspect, the, the governance, uh, social, and economic, and uh, all of you already uh, decide, uh, I think. And then we right now to uh, follow up for the our. Uh, like our assessment for the next, I think for the next meeting, we would like to discuss more detail about uh, the the how do we measure the the criteria and indicator. That's also important to have a, like a deep discussion about the uh, the the today, uh, discussion. And I think uh, as uh, I show this uh, slide, as you know, that nice, uh, okay, and I say nice picture, uh, that the BRK uh, activities, and we also listen from the all of the uh, speaker that uh, we um, also understanding that uh, rural development methods and and restoration must be promoted from village. You know that I think this is uh, very important because uh, uh, the different uh, tropical land ecosystem with the others uh, peatland ecosystem all over the world that the tropical peatland ecosystem already uh, have the many, many inhabitants or many communities. So uh, how do we make a deal uh, about their uh, sustainability life for the future? And then the other, so um, if we talk about the, the, the future uh, that we can uh, make a donation of the plan. So the many aspects should be considered as you uh, already know. Uh, the hydrology, biophysics, and uh, other socio-economic aspects. So, uh, I think the five principles for the governance, uh, but I saw that the, we already uh, decided to be uh, important that uh, about the, 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 gov the government government about uh, how do we make a transparency and then also uh, access the information and also the the, the, the budget so I think so we uh, we need also to uh, detail to make a detail for the uh, for the next meeting how do we measure and how to uh, do this uh, criteria and indicator. And uh, the, the, the social aspect, uh, I surprised that the, 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 the participant uh, decided the uh, land tenure. Uh, in, in, in my understanding that, uh, of course, the tenure is very important, uh, but uh, I think so we consider also the other aspect like, uh, uh, I think uh, the, the social cohesion, uh, 
social networking also very very important uh, to, uh, to 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 be established in, in the criteria and indicator. So, uh, land restoration agency has the IDPG indicator. People desa peduli gam, but also I think uh, should be uh, including for the social uh, criteria and indicator. So we need to uh, be careful also if we work at the village level, we cannot mm, say uh, very strict uh, how to the community on or how, how to the uh, people use the land because uh, the, 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 the concept or the principle of the restoration is also still new for the uh, level uh, community village. So I think uh, we need to process to uh, encourage and then to uh, approach uh, and work together with the uh, community. I think that also very important for our discussion, discussion, next discussion. And then I, I give the attention about uh, the, the commodity or the alternative sustainable livelihood. I think we uh, also listen to Darsono. Oh, as, uh, as uh, the the uh, the 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 uh, the BRD research activities with the 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 the, the, the college, uh, I think so we cannot uh, uh, rely on the the commodity ending. Uh, of course, we need to uh, make uh, the uh, like uh, the, the the added value and also the uh, the, 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 the the product the product uh, for the various product. But I think the uh, ecosystem, especially in the tropical, should be understanding in the whole uh, landscape. So we cannot say uh, just one or two. Uh, product, but also uh, uh, to think about the whole of the uh, the, the, the the ecosystem can be uh, surface for us. Uh, so I think, uh, like we 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 consider that uh, how do we uh, also promote for the, uh, the 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 payment ecosystem services, and then uh, based on the our research activity, so we. Uh, well, we we confident that we need to uh, make uh, the, the the mix uh, uh, commodity for uh, for the supporting uh, community livelihood in the future. So we cannot uh, rely on the one uh, commodity. So I think uh, that's all my conclude, including remark, and then. So I think the next meeting we need to uh, more deep discussion how to uh, we uh, measure how to establish the methodology uh, to the uh, the our uh, decision criteria and indicator and of course we are I think so very very uh, thank you for all of. Uh, you and all of the participants, especially from the uh, team restoration Gambut Daerah. I mean that uh, the local uh, restoration, pitland restoration team. Uh, all, we hope they they can uh, involve and then uh, also uh, can uh, participate for the our uh, next meeting and then for the our uh, activity for the like the rat so or the uh, to, 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 to strong to make strong the the criteria and indicator for the tropical pitland restoration i think that's all thank you and stay healthy for all of you uh, good afternoon assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh terima kasih terima kasih banyak Paris. bye bye